Can you believe it? 2012 this game came out. 11 years ago. A1, remember when, you know, this game came out and, you know, every content creator and their mother was covering it? <laughs> like, everyone was doing it and the internet was going crazy over it? You know, I, I remember that. That was, a, that was an interesting time, wasn't it? Um, we're covering it for two reasons, is what's happening around here. Um, it's spooky month, so it's like, hey, maybe we should actually do a spooky game during spooky month. For this Halloween, I did plan on doing Luigi's Mansion, but I can just, like, probably do that in one session, maybe two, on Halloween itself. And just, you know, go ham there. I didn't really have a spooky game for playing a little bit during, like, the duration of Spooky Month. It's already about halfway through Spooky Month. It's already the 14th of October, so maybe I'm starting it a little bit late. But hey, whatever. Um, that's reason number one. And two, in my current game design class that I'm in right now, we have to do, like, several game analysis projects throughout the course. I'm actually just wrapping up my first video essay right now for this class, being on Metroid Prime. Um... Then I'll be doing one on Firewatch, which is essentially redoing my first one, which started out as a written assignment, but I'm changing it to a video format because then I, I feel more confident in the video format. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do my third game analysis on yet, but this is one of the options. So there's a different unit for each week, and there's a list of like three or four games each week where it's like, here's some options of things that you can write on related to that topic if you choose to do one of your game analysis is on like this week's topic. Though you can also, like, request for, like, whatever other game if the professor feels like it's appropriate. And that's where Metroid Prime came from. For story and games, I was like, hey, can I do Metroid Prime? And she was like, yes, you should. Like, no pressure, but do it. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'll give it a go then. Um, and apparently, The Walking Dead here is one of the options for one of the units that we're talking about in November, which is racing games. Which, I guess I'll play this and, like, analyze how they handle, you know how the different characters treat Lee based off of, like, race, I guess, and how the narrative handles him, like, with regard to that, I suppose. I don't know exactly how something like that would be written, but, you know, I'll play this game and I'll try to look at it from that lens and see if I can think of some things, maybe? I don't know what my third game analysis is gonna be on. It could be on something completely different. Like, the last unit is multiplayer games, and there I could write on either, like, Smash Ultimate or Dead by Daylight, like, things I'm a lot more familiar with. So... This is just putting an option on the table for me, but I kind of wanted to do something during Spooky Month anyway, so I was like, hey, let's do it. Let's do, let's do The Walking Dead here. Man, remember when the show was big? That was another completely different time, wasn't it? But hello, hello, Morris and CJ. I hope things are going well today. Hopefully having a thoroughly spoopy Saturday. I, um... Yeah, I kind of like, uh... Yeah. Oh, you can turn off the, uh, bits where it's like, so-and-so will remember that. And, like, the interactable things. I feel like I'm just gonna take longer if I don't see icons on what things are interactable. I've played this game before, but a long, long time ago. I own all four seasons of Telltale's Walking Dead. I remember I really, really liked season one. Season two I thought was pretty good. Three, I don't really remember much of anything about it. And it just kind of felt kind of fillery to me. And then four, I've never played. So, you know, maybe we'll eventually get to those on this channel and I'll be able to see firsthand, like, what happened in season three again? And uh, what the heck is going on all in season four? Maybe I'll do them for some future spooky months. I don't know. For right now, I'm just going to do this, though, this here video game. And then, like, leave the door open for if I want to one day for the other ones, then it's there. But yeah, I'll do standard in that case. No, let's go all the way over to, uh, the thingamabob. What the heck is 400 days? I don't even remember. Well, let's, let's play the video game here, is what we'll do. I usually have my camera off for cutscenes. This game is, like, 99% cutscenes. So, you know, I'll just have it off for, like, some of the bigger ones, maybe. But, you know, otherwise, just leave it on, you know, most of the time. So, like, here, I'll turn it off initially, but we'll probably just have camera on for most of it. Also, I need to adjust the volume. I have the volume mixer handy here. I tried to adjust it based off of, like, the volume on the title screen, but it was kind of hard to judge off of that. All right, I'm turning it down one more notch. Bam, to there. Went from a 20 to a 3 in the volume mixer. Like, 20 before I started streaming. I started streaming at, like, a 7 or something. Episode 1, A New Day. Crazy to think. Again, this came out 11 years ago, and it was such an internet sensation of a game. I haven't played it or seen it in, like, so long. 
And then, yeah, there was the unique art style that they had that made it look sort of like a comic book thingamabob there. I was about to say, like, a certain style of comic book, but then I, you know, didn't quite know what to say for the style. What it might be. Oh, man. Arresting me for criminal cringe. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Just like, uh... Detective Pikachu the other day. You know uh, no! Gosh dang it! <laughs> I was just turning my camera back on. Dang it. Yeah, it was first a comic book and then they made the show and then there was this Telltale game. <laughs> dang it! Hold on, I'm going to adjust it back up to like here. I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit for proper audio levels. Maybe I should have just done that before I started streaming. Uh, not for me! I'm just gonna play with controller probably just because it's more convenient and I can just like sit back and chill You know Just kind of take it easy Now aim the target the rear view mirror I followed your case a little bit you being a making boy and all. Oh, what's going on over there? Um, what do you think? Do you think I was pretty cool? I'm just glad I but yeah, law, and thinking about Detective Pikachu there, I also needed to take a break from that game there. I could have streamed some Fire Emblem Fates, that's another thing that we have going on right now. Mario Bros. Wonder comes out this coming Friday. Yeah, look at Rearview Mirror again. Oh, he was a teacher? Well, now I know about, like, <laughs> turning my camera off and on during scenes. Uh, sure. Sure. A little wild to say sure. But yeah, I do remember that. I remember I just watched a playthrough of the first one. Didn't they make like two seasons? Could be you just married the wrong I, uh, woman. Um, how about this? <sighs> I think they made two seasons. I only watched the first. No question is, do you remember Telltale's Texas Hold'em? <laughs> no? What? <laughs> I remember, like, Telltale games used to make all sorts of different games. And then they had, like, the big smash hit with The Walking Dead here. And then they started turning this format into, like, the only games that they made. It was only ever video games in this format. Whoa, did his head bug out for a second? And then, didn't they go, like, bankrupt or something? Because they started struggling when they were developing, like, this is, like, their only types of game format. Telltale's first game was just Poker Night at the Inventory, huh? Because I know they used to do all sorts of things. Then this happened, and then they start only doing this. So did he do it? And they, uh... No. Kind of... Things kind of plummeted. I remember tuning into some of their other things. I didn't play a whole lot of their other games, but I remember watching playthroughs of other ones. I remember watching The Wolf Among Us, and I thought that was pretty neat. I really liked the Batman Telltale games. I thought that their stories were pretty intriguing. I thought that was pretty neat. But yeah, hello, hello, Lionheart. I'm doing pretty alrighty. Oh no, it's a Zambo! <laughs> it really just have like a brief moment to hit the button. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh no, I remember this. I'm doing pretty alrighty. I haven't played this game in forever. Loading. <laughs> Imagine seeing a loading screen like that in a modern game. Like that speaks to late 2000s, early 2010s. Right there. Kind of style a loading screen. <laughs> well, it is. But I'm doing pretty alrighty. Uh, uh, it's been a nice, pleasant Saturday, and I'm just here chilling with some whacking dead. <laughs> Imagine it's like Last of Us Part 1, it just freezes and compiles shaders. Luckily, I don't think we need to worry about that. I When I went to install this game earlier today, I think it was like 3.8 gigabytes. Imagine a game like this being released today and being 3.8 gigabytes. Like, of course, a game released today would, you know, look visually a whole lot better, but still. It feels like the modern gaming industry just has no idea how to compress their code. Oh no, what happened to him? Oh yeah, I need to use the right stick. Like, this is actually a pretty small game, data size-wise. In fact, out of curiosity with the other ones, if I go to Steam real quick, um, let's see here. Walking Dead Season 2, 3.85 gigabytes. Walking Dead A New Frontier, 15.8 gigabytes. A big jump there. And then Walking Dead The Final Season is 13.6 gigabytes. But yeah, the, uh, Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 are just like 4 gigabytes-ish each. 
I see something like Call of Duty coming out nowadays and they're what, like 150 gigabytes or something? Well, <laughs> I wrote compressed code when you can release and profit. Yeah, fair enough. Find a way out of the car. The handle? Oh. Yeah, kick the window. Falcon kick! Yeah, so there is definitely a lot of other video games there, but maybe we'll play the other ones one day. Alright. Now move towards the window using the left stick. Modern Warfare 2 beta you're playing right now is 25 gigs for beta? <laughs> what? Oh, man. So all four seasons of this combined are what? Like just a smidge larger than that? Isn't TF2 like 20 gigs? Maybe. Left stick to move along the car. Yep. Here I go. But yeah, play it again, to be honest. Is there Halloween stuff going on in TF2? Can I grab this? Yoink. Maybe yoink. Yeah, that'd be hard on his injured leg. Uh, that's unfortunate. It's still a blunt weapon, though. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, that's fair enough. There is everywhere here. Okay. When are they ever going to make a TF3? God damn. God damn. Officer? God damn. Officer? God damn. <laughs> He's gonna be a Zambo, I'm fairly certain. So this is gonna be jump scare. Oh. Yoink! Oh, never mind, it wasn't. I'm sure it'll still be a jump scare if I recall. It's been a long time. Oh, this is where it's a jump scare. Is a group working on TF2 and Source 2? So they're working on their own project there? Why are you so nervous? You don't know the zombies exist yet. Alright, open up. He's gonna jump at us. I'm fairly certain here. Yep. Yep. Then he does that. Oh, no! Uh, use the left stick to get away! What the hell? What yeah, it's been a good while since playing this here video game. Oh, there's a shell. So grab the shell. I pressed Y at first. And look here. And then grab this. And then... Good thing he's so slow. And then we grab this a second time. Yeah, we probably shouldn't do it. Okay, well, for you. <laughs> No more Officer Zambo. So did he get flung out by the crash there? Oh, out of the frying pan. Complete chapter one of episode one. I just got an achievement for it. Whoa, we completed a whole chapter this stream. I guess that means this is a good point to wrap things up for this stream and this stream. Wow, made amazing progress. Okay, let's see. It's all rotten and he smells like shit. Rod pretty darn fast. Unless I've been passed out for a couple days or something like that. Ah. Hey! Are you dead? <laughs> I mean, am I supposed to target something else? Am I missing something here? I can't use the left stick for anything. Um, I'm pressing buttons and things. Am I dumb? Oh! Oh! Go get someone. The yeah, I kid in the far background. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going today, Eagle? It's been a long time since playing this game, so I don't remember these things. Eh. You say it's your favorite Halloween slash October horror movie? I don't actually watch, like, horror movies pretty much at all. What? Oh, I'm over here. Uh, yeah. I like the psycho I am. I haven't really watched anything all that spooky. I remember, like, this last December, my, uh, German bilingual group that I grew up with, like, throughout grade school. <laughs> we, uh, we always have, oh, bit of lag there, a get-together in December, and, like, get, wow, this is getting pretty loud. Oh my goodness, what is with the freezing here? Um, I'm gonna turn this down a singular notch to there. We always have a get-together every December, like, at a restaurant, and, uh, catch up on everyone's lives and stuff like that. And this past December, 
after that we went over to one of the guys places and we played a little bit of Mario Kart downstairs in the basement and then later we uh, why is it getting so loud my goodness yeah I'm surprised to see this game stuttering but yeah and not much of a horror guy yourself either that's fair enough but anyway we uh went to uh this one guy's place played some Mario Kart and then we, they were like oh we should put on a movie and uh the general consensus was that we should watch a spooky movie and uh, so we were browsing Netflix trying to find a spooky movie not really caring if it was good or awful and the one that we ended up choosing what was it called again it was like 47 meters under uncaged or something like that so apparently it was a sequel to something none of us had seen like the first one it was meant to be like a shark horror movie where it's just like, ah, yes, there's this group of teenagers that are going scuba diving in, like, these old ruins. But then a shark goes by and, like, topples the entrance that they came in. And now they have limited oxygen and they need to get out. And it's just so boring. Like, I don't know who the heck was in charge of the cinematography on that film. But so much of it is just, like, very much darkness. Like, there's, like, the little beams of the flashlight as they just explore around these ruins for like four or five minutes at a time with no dialogue and like just nothing happening. Not even like a shark going by, nobody saying anything to each other. Just like these long, several minute long scenes of them just exploring around doing absolutely nothing. Like, <laughs> it was so boring. I was the only one that stayed awake. Everyone else fell asleep, so I just went home halfway through. And then, like, when the movie was almost over, the rest of the guys woke up and they were like, what? Jake's gone. <laughs> and they texted me to make sure that I was okay. I was like, yeah, I just went home because everyone else, like, passed the heck out. And I felt like I probably was going to as well if I, uh, if I stayed there. But it was so bad. It wasn't even, like, a fun bad movie. It was just, like, a boring bad movie. Like, it was getting late, and a lot of them had had, like, a decent few drinks at that point, but even still, like, it felt like a very sleep-inducing movie. Like, <laughs> it was a bit of a time. I remember this one, like, ex more adept guy that it was going and exploring the ruins and stuff like that that's familiar with this group of teenagers. He meets with them, and he's just like, oh, follow me, I'll help you guys find the way out. Um... And they make it to this, like, they get to the surface, but it's kind of surrounded by cliffs where you can't exactly climb up, but there's, like, a rope coming down that's, like, lodged into some stump, and that's, like, where he came down and up. And, uh, you can only have, like, one person on the rope at a time, or else, you know, it'll collapse and stuff. So, like, one of the girls starts climbing, and then, like, sharks start coming, so another one's like, oh, no, I better start climbing as well, and then the rope collapses, and then one of them dies, and... Then the guy is like, all right, well, you know, I guess we got to go through another exit. So just follow me and then we'll be safe. And then one of the sharks comes up to the surface and chomps him and then leaves. And it's like, oh, okay. It was, it was actually pretty goofy at some points, but, uh, that's all I really remember about it, Anybody up there? but it was so bad. So, hello, you know, Anybody in there? Arrested. what? Okay, he was saying two things at once. So I don't usually watch horror movies. That was the last horror movie that I watched. And my god. <laughs> I never seen the original movie, but there's no way it was good enough that it warranted a sequel. <laughs> Especially a sequel like that. Oh man. Versus just like Hell Hell's LLC only like two jump scares, very well shot found footage film. Well, if I ever feel like watching something a bit spooky. Top horror is probably something like Alien or, or The Quiet Place. Those are definitely a couple big ones there. Speaking of horror, new Ireland trailer released today. That's neato. I think the weirdest boring horror movie you've seen is fucking Leprechaun in the Hood. What? <laughs> I don't really think it'd just be strangely hilarious, but no, it's boring. <laughs> Leprechaun in the Hood. What the hell? Yeah, dude, there's something odd going on here. Write your predictions in the in the chat now. Vote now on your phones. What do you think is going on here? Hmm. It's so odd. But yeah. And an Eagle plays FNAF yesterday and will never be the same. What, FNAF 1 changed ya? Ow. 
I never played FNAF 1. I played FNAF 2 when it was pretty new, very briefly, with some friends at the time. And Mangle killed me on night two, and I was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Can I has? What is that? I don't know what that is. Open the drawer again. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Ooh, that was weird. Take cup of water. What? <laughs> I don't remember this game being this, like, oddly buggy. Okay. That was odd. But yeah. You played the first three seasons of this game. So have I. FNAF 1 was just stressful. Was it scary to stress you that about? <laughs> that was the experience there. It's also a leprechaun back to the hood. Starring legendary actor Sticky Fig... What? The drink that dude, it's moldy. Too late now. I did it twice. As if one wasn't good enough. I extra drank it. I don't know how I use the radio, so. Move my icon over there. Nope. I don't know then. Oh yeah, but the FNAF movie is coming out in a couple weeks here, isn't it? Against the type of milk you'd leave a babysitter. You're right. Martell's. That's a Savannah area code. Okay. I. The type of yeah, I shouldn't have inspected it again. It's always bold with these games. Do I have a radio button? Okay, maybe not. I'm hitting all the things. Maybe that just shows that that's you know in my inventory, and I'm pretty sure I get radioed from the treehouse here pretty soon if I recall. What's that beeping? It's <laughs> it's the banana. Is <laughs> what the beeping is. Ah! But yeah, kind of why you decided to do at least FNAF one. What for the movie? Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get. Oh well, you know how it is. Have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling yeah, well, well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and no. aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please. Get fat please shamed. Just not fitting through there. City and take Clementine with you yeah, the decent area. numbers too, I so so the stream stream went pretty all right. But was that your dedicated spooky month game? This one was also the most aggressive you've seen, body. It's like Mangle was the most aggressive I'd ever seen when I played FNAF 2. Imagine dying to Mangle on night 2. <laughs> Just big chillin'. Just wanna hang out. Be friends with you. You know, I get if there's less text to go through, you can make it show up slower, but, you know, having something like, huh, go do, 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 do. I don't know if that's really necessary. Um, are you okay? Basta, wolf! I'm okay. Do they try but yeah. To get me? Also, if you think about trying to stream a spooky game for the month, like Pokemon Snakewood, that sucks, you think? Never heard of that fan game. But like a Modern Warfare 2 lobby with the amount of camping Bonnie and Freddy did. <laughs> Um, what's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. Should I even turn off camera for any scenes here? I don't know. How old are you? Eight. Telltale's just kind of one of those games of, yes. you know, I don't know where almost all cutscenes. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Um, are you safe? She's in the treehouse, I remember. The tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? Hi. I can see you through the window. Wait, is that the name of a fruit? Did I never know that? Oh, no! Oh no! I actually uh, mash or else die on like Detective Pikachu. <laughs> oh, no. Ow! Ow! Falcon kick! Boy, you teleport over fast about when I got the kick input. Rude. Falcon punch! Stop hammer time? Can I has? Can I has? 
Clementine oranges. Huh, I actually didn't know that. Uh, X. Uh, give me that. Thank you. It was another day on the job. Smack. Smack. Another one for good measure. Do it again. Brody. <laughs> Adventures in Babysitting, complete chapter two of episode one. Wow. Some things are the little orgies you can get, huh? I don't know that. <laughs> That's news to me. If I end up do, if I do end up making like a short video essay game analysis out of this game, there's just gonna be like random messages like that on screen sometimes. <laughs> um, um, I don't think something else did. They but yeah. Me, I think. I heard her well, the time will remember that. Too. Maybe one of the monsters got her. It looks like the ink in that, I guess. Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself. I guess he was knocked out in the car for a little while. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Yeah, because Lee's a good guy. What should we do now? Um, <laughs> I mean, they're both basically the same. Vote now on your phones. Out of this neighborhood is not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. Wait, My chose to wait until dark. Wait, did I not read the options properly? We'll try to find shelter and come Am I dumb? That sounds good. Well, we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good. My, am I actually just dumb? Let's go. All right, well, stay close to me. Ignore me. Oh, well, I guess we made it up into the treehouse for the night. Nice. All right, well, I actually meant to go out before it got I dark. I didn't. Okay. We'll realize that. The front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Yeah, it's strange coming back to this game. It does look, you know, kind of odd. And we'll move as fast as we can. Since, you know, this was the earliest of. I'm pretty sure this was the earliest of Telltale's games in this style, and it's, you know, the success of this that made them pursue this style more. Didn't even know you could leave a night. I didn't either! <laughs> I've never done that before. But I assume we meet, like, the same group anyway, and then leave, and it doesn't make any difference, right? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Way we go. Yeah, it is an interesting art style, but, yeah, the later games clean it up a lot more. Definitely the case, but yeah, when it gets closer to their faces, like their eyes are a little bit odd. Me, not you. I don't know. I don't actually think they're after me, but uh. Stay down, Georgia State Patrol. Dude, he oh. didn't listen to that. Oh, come quietly. There's a little girl here. Because he thinks that he's under arrest. Oh. oh shit! You're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Well, and why were you calling out like why you, you were trying to that? arrest someone? Um. <laughs> You're the law, you know. You don't mess with that. Oh man, no shit. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see? I remember Sean. I don't. I don't remember both of them though. Um. I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Yeah, it sucks Look, suck. Help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. Yeah, I remember that. Dad. Um, uh, just some guy. <laughs> just some guy. Some guy? Sean noticed what you said. She's alone? Whoever you are, let's get a move on. All right. Oh no! Oh no! Let's go. Get to my car. Go. Let's use like a melee weapon. Well, I guess this is pretty early into the apocalypse. Shadow bench. I don't know who that is, so I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. Away we go. 
you later, nerd.